Good morning, everyone out there. I am Corinne Braxton, a Stamping Up demonstrator, here coming to you live from Bozeman, Montana. It's a beautiful sunny day, so I've closed the blinds here because it's so bright. It's only about 15 to 17 degrees. Cup, the ground is covered with snow. It is gorgeous out. Bright sunny day, bright blue sky here in Big Sky Country. They call it they call it Big Sky for a reason because it is gigantic and gorgeous. Anyway, today is October 30th and I have some really fun projects. Thank you, Stacy, for joining us so quickly and thank you for sharing. I do appreciate thumbs up, hearts, comments. I read all the comments later and I appreciate all of your orders. I always send gifts with orders. Hey, thank you very much, Pam, for finding us so quickly this morning. Um, please join my email list if you haven't already. Set your notifications. And if you're on YouTube later, because I do post all this to YouTube, then uh, subscribe and ring the bell. Okay? We have a lot to do today. Um, I am, I have, I have sort of a, it's sort of funny. Tomorrow is my big back surgery. I'm having a five fusions and it'll be a long surgery, probably about eight hours approximately, give or take, could be more, could be a little bit less. Anyway, um, so when I was coming up with projects for today, I th thought, well, I better get, well, first, I, before I was even thinking about this, I thought I better, better gather up some thank you cards for the nurses. I have no idea if I'll be able to write and feel good enough to hand out cards, but then I thought, well, why not make, use this, fan we have a fantastic stamp in our annual call catalog called Everyday Thanks. It is really a neat one. Um, let me show you. I made some cards a long time ago with this. Um, actually, it was a, a, a class I had taken from Rhonda Wade. Here's one. These are all people that, like this is the stethoscope. Here's some pencils that you might use and a thank you. It's got a wonderful thank you for a teacher. Here's a, a a whistle maybe for a coach, or it could be a policeman or something like that. And um, I decided, well, I'm gonna do something. But I, before that, I thought, well, we, we need to do something really easy. And I wanted to do uh, some gate folds because gate folds are fun folds that are super easy. Anyone can do them. You'll sort of learn that when you're first starting stamping. Hi. Uh, Brayden and Levon. Let's see once. Let me see if I can find myself on my computer. I almost forgot that. Uh, okay, let's see once here. Oh, there I am. <clears throat> you can tell I'm wearing a blue top today. We're going to use blueberry for our first card. And let's see once. I can, I can find some of the comments now. Stacy, Brayden, Pam, Levon. Paula from Rainy, Ohio. Well, at least it's, you're not getting the snow. Thank you, Pam. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, we're going to turn the camera down. Remember, I told you we weren't going to use any of the same beautiful papers that we used the last two weeks that are online exclusives. Now, remember, November 7th is when the new online exclusives come out again. You can always... Um, order from me online. I have a host code. You can use that or not use it either way. It's fine. Um, it's always, it's nice when you do use it because I get host rewards. If it's over 150, you want to, you get the host rewards. So anyway, um, I was making some other cards and that's why I came up with the gatefold idea. So here we go. Let's turn our camera down and we'll, and I am, so I'm, some of you came in later. I am Corinne. Braxton, and we're coming to you from Bozeman, Montana. Good morning, Carla. Carla is one of my sisters in Wisconsin. My two sisters are going to take turns coming to help Terry, or help me. Uh, Terry's going to be here. Uh, my sister Chris is coming first, uh, November 6th, and then my sister Carla is coming on the 12th of November. They have to stay home in Wisconsin first because my mom is turning 97 and they have a little party for her. My mom still has seven brothers and sisters alive, which is pretty amazing. And she is the oldest, her older brother died. 
uh, quite a few years ago. Anyway, let's close our eyes and turn the camera down. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this without it falling. Oops, a daisy. There we go. I want to tighten up my little stand a little bit. There we go. Now it can focus. Here is the November host code. And let's see. These are some cards. Oh, I see a I see a dragonfly fell off. There, we'll put it back on. So these are all gatefolds. This is um, in the mini catalog. It's called, um, what is it called? Uh, morning something. Anyway, I am in love with this one stamp called So Bold or something. It's a flower stamp. Um, that's where this comes from. Here's another one. This is the paper I, I've shown you before. This is coming November 7th. If you're a demonstrator, then you can get it right now on a pre-order. But I think the pre-order stops tomorrow's the last day. So happiest of birthdays, and that's the back of some other some of the paper. And then here's another. These are just for me to show you my... Uh, here's another one from that same gorgeous paper. Anyway, these are easy gatefolds. Um, I will be posting more of more gatefolds in the next several days. We're going to do our first card. Every day, thanks. It does not have dies. It doesn't have, really, it's a coloring type of stamp. We're going to be using the uh, countryside corners is what that's called. And this was the card I did once before earlier this summer when the stamp came out. This is from that fishing paper, but I sort of did a takeoff on that. So you're going to see that. And this is what I came up with. This is what we're going to make today. And this is with the blueberry. Thank you for everything you do with the stethoscope. I'm hoping there are going to be some really great nurses that I will be able to give these to. And I hope I feel well enough. Today we're going to use the Glorious Gingham. That was my, I wanted to use some new paper, but I wanted to be able to use several different colors. So we're using, this is blueberry, and it's got that small check on the other side. Lemon Lime Twist. I forgot to do something with this one. Pretty Peacock. I should have done that, um, the one card with that. And Berry Burst. And this one is Pecan Pie. And we're going to use this one for a gingerbread. So these little booklets I buy from um, uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name King in um, Brian King in Atlanta, Georgia. And this set is called Glorious Gingham, and these are the colors that in it. He makes these little booklets. They're a little pricey, but um, I really like having them to show when I'm doing a video. Okay, let's do our card. And I'm going to bring this over here so I can see that, put that aside. So we're going to be using, today we're going to use the stethoscope, the thank you. We're going to use the band-aid. And here we go. First, we're going to start with our thick white. It is five and a half by eight and a half, just a regular standard card. It's just scored differently. And I remember, I, I probably have been stamping for 20 years, 25 years. I've been a demonstrator for 11. But I remember making a gatefold when I lived in Missouri. And it was one of the first cards I ever made. It's there because they're easy. So you're going to always fold a gatefold uh, this is a verdict. This is going to be a, the five and a half by eight and a half. So what I do is it, it says to score at two and one eighth. So two and one eighth is here's the two inch. Let's see if I can come down a little bit and you can maybe see that. Here's the two inch and the two and one eighth is right there. There is the two and a quarter. There's the two and eighth, that's one sixteenth. So what I do is I do two and an eighth, I score it with my scoring blade. That's my gray one, like that. Then I turn it completely around and do the other side, like that. 
and then you, ha you ha don't have a seam in the middle. So we'll take that away. By the way, this gingham paper is on page 130 of the annual catalog. It is really great. I wish they, I hope they'll make more colors in gingham because it's super. I, I've always liked gingham. And the stamp set that we're using is from page 60, Everyday Thanks. And there, you can find that number, 161528. It's a $23, it's a red rubber cling stamp. So, we're going to get our pieces out, get our bone folder, and give it a good, good crease. Let's see if I have some things in the way here. Let's see if I have a shadow, but I have no idea where that shadow is coming from. So anyway, we're going to take this up. All of my directions will be written out, and I'm just going to make sure you can all hear this well. Um, we're going to use this ribbon. Um, it's the it's metallic woven ribbon. I didn't use it on the other one, but the other one was so thick that I decided to use it. Okay, let me see if I can get all the pieces out of here. All right. This is, we're going to use some embellishments. These are blueberry, and this is from uh, the Tinsel, uh, Tinsel Gems 4-pack. So we're going to use that. And I've already cut... I used eighth inches, so one and seven eighths by five and a fourth. And these are two pieces of gingham. On the other one, I did the small check. I'll do the big check on this one, just to give you a little bit of a different feel. Okay, I'm gonna get my handy dandy little silicone mat out. And I actually feel so funny. I was packing a bag for the hospital. So anytime I travel, I always take some stamping things with me. Um, of course, I'm not taking anything like that on this trip to the hospital. Um, so I was just thinking, whenever I go to a hotel and on a trip or something, I always take just a, something to fussy cut. I always take my adhesive silicone mat and a scissors and I don't stamp or anything, but I might color with my blends if I have some downtime. Anyway, this time I'm not doing any of that, of course. Um, I'm not even sure I'll be how well I'll be. This is a pretty serious type of surgery. There we have our card. And now we're going to do our stamping. So we're going to, um, we're going to take our big mat, our big corner, country corner side. We're going to put this ribbon around it. I use the, uh, I use the boho ribbon. I, I don't, we don't have any blueberry ribbon. This is boho. And that's what I used on the other card, but it was just sort of thick. And I, I went to my ribbons and I thought, oh, this, uh, this metallic, let's see what color it's starry sky. So I'm going to, I'm going to use that. I'm going to leave a, a nice size tail. I'm going to wrap, it's very thin, but it's really pretty. And I'm going to wrap it around twice. I'm going to cut it off. Like that. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, some scotch tape, I think, on the back to keep it from sliding. I'm going to hold it like that. Add a little bit of scotch tape. And now I think I can tie that a little, oops, came undone a little bit there. And I can tie this into a bow or not first. This is, it's always so, it's so funny because when you're doing a video, you have to be sort of reaching. I can't uh, get my head in there. It's um, just a little bit more complicated than doing it. There we go. And so it's nothing like that. It's a, Pretty decent little bow for being on camera. And we're gonna give that a little snip with my, my scissors, my little snips. There we go, I like that. And uh, so that's a, that looks pretty good, I think. And now we're going to put this on a piece of vellum. The vellum is three and a half by four and three fourths. And I'm just going to put that on 
like this. I'm gonna put most of my adhesive, I'm gonna use my plus right there. And I'm gonna put that on like that. I'm gonna sort of, let's see, it doesn't even show. I'm gonna put some more on the bottom. That's the thing about the Seal Plus. It does not show on vellum. I was pretty sure it didn't. I couldn't remember exactly. So there we have that. And now we're going to do some stamping and coloring with our blends. It's very little. So I'm going to stamp on the smaller piece. This one's going to go over there on top. And so we're going to stamp a... Uh, let me see, get my blueberry out. We don't need that, I don't think, for yet. Quite yet. We're going to stamp in black. And I've got my black right here. And we're going to give that a, I'm going to just, uh, whoops, a daisy. I'm going to uh, get a little grid paper here for you so I can have, you know, you don't need a padding, but I like to, I do like to stamp. Um, we're going to just put this right off to the side like that. And give that a good little clean. And I am going to, on this card, I actually cut out the words, but on this one, I think there's plenty of room right there to stamp. Thank you. And I want to be able to do a lot of cards for you today to show you this. So we're going to, I love this. This thank you is really a nice one. Thank you for everything you do. Let's see if that's going to fit. Fits just perfectly. So we'll do that. And close that up. I'm going to leave the inside blank on this. And now we're going to do some coloring. We're going to just get our blueberry. I'm just using the colors from the paper. Smoky Slate. We're going to do some Smoky Slate. And how many of you out there do you have a nurse in your family? Our, my daughter-in-law, Millie, is a nurse. So she's going to... She's uh she's not practicing nursing right now, but she she just lives down the road from us. But she's gonna go to the hospital with Terry and listen to the doctor when he comes out. So I'm I'm thankful thankful for that. I'm gonna use the light blueberry to do this, and it's, I'm gonna use the fine tip. There's a thick, and a, this one is the. Let's see, how are you all doing? Can you see me okay? Yeah. It won't take very long to color this. And there, it is done. Isn't that cute? And then we have some room for some gems on there. And uh, you could certainly, uh, on my other, I did, you know, I did stamp and cut out like that, but, and that gives a little bit more pizzazz, but we don't need to do that. It's just a little bit of extra. And, uh, but let's put this together now. And we're gonna put, this is going to go on top of here with some dimensionals. And you know me, I like to um, cut up my little dimensionals. I have some cut up, but I think I'll, I'll just show you what I do. Here's a sheet, I think we get, you get six or eight of those. I'm just gonna cut them. And then I'm going to, uh, that looks good. And I'll cut the other ones into smaller pieces at another time. But I love these. You just take them with you. I don't even have to use my take your pick tool on this. There we have it. There we go. And there is a, it's all finished. Looks neat. I have a little something there, but okay. And now we're going to put it on here like this. I'm going to actually put uh, some seal plus on the top. I'm going to center this. There we have it. Remember, all the directions, I, I already have them typed up. I did that yesterday. It's so funny doing a video on Monday. It's such a different feeling for me. I, um, I've had a busy morning. I, had, um, I have a busy day altogether, so we're going to put some of these uh, gems on. I'm going to put one right there, fill up a little bit of space. I'm going to put another one right there, maybe a little closer. I don't like it quite so far away. There we go, that's better. 
And then we're going to do a smaller one right here. We had, um, ever since it snowed last week, we one of our, our main TV has not worked. And they could finally come today, but they were going to be coming while either I had my Facebook Live or my, I have an Elite Mastermind class that I have today on Mondays, every Monday. And um, they were going to come during that time. And I had emailed and asked if they could come at a different time. And they, they actually came this morning right at 8 o'clock. So that was perfect. Anyway, here's our card. And here is the other one. Which ribbon do you like better? Do you like this metallic ribbon or do you like the boho? And that's how easy that card is. And the reason I wrapped it all the way around is because that will show on this one, look at what I did. I was trying to save ribbon, but then I didn't take it apart. So it does, it's sort of, sort of weird. I don't like that, but anyway, I didn't fix it either. So it's not that bad. Hopefully they won't mind. Which do you like better, the small gingham or the large gingham blueberry? Those are the cards for the first card. Now, the second one we're going to be using is the um, Band-Aid. And we're going to be stamping that. We're going to take these away. And let me see if I can find my little kit. So let me see what's here. We're going to be using some gems. This was the card I made this summer. I thought that was a nice look. Here's another one I made with um, what we're going to do today, here, gatefold. Don't like that. Um, so then we're, I made this one. I really, Actually, I forgot to use the DSP. And I had the whole card put together. And then I thought, well, I haven't done the DSP. And I wanted to use all the colors. So I, I just stuck a piece in there. And I sort of like it. I added some uh, gray granite, not gray granite, uh, basic gray on the around this deco piece. And that's it. So this one is covered up. So I like that better. And then we are going to do a slightly different variation. So we're going to start. This is going to be a horizontal. So the other one was a vertical card. This one's going to be a horizontal. So we did, this one opens up like that. It's still a vertical base like that, a regular base, but we turned it horizontal. I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you different ways. They're all basically the same. This is a four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it at two and three fourths by two and three fourths. Again, I scored it two and three fourths, turned it, did two and three fourths. Very easy. I have those, I mean, those are measurements that I've done for a long time. I don't even need to um, look them up or anything like that. I have them all memorized because I've made a lot of gatefolds. And that's the beauty of a gatefold. It's easy, but it looks like you've, got an, you've done a lot of work. Okay. So there's our basic card, and now let's get our pieces out. Here's our inside. Let's put that on right away. It's four by five and a fourth. Oh, Eileen, good to see you. I'm, I'm glad you could watch today. Let's see once. I am, let's see. Let's see, I have forgot to look. Lynette, Glenna, Eileen. Oh, thanks so much, all of you, for following along. Of course, this will be anyone who hasn't there. You know, it's a different time and place. Some people are working. They can watch tonight. But um, it's just sort of odd doing it on a Monday morning. So take that off because the directions will all be underneath. I'll post those as soon as everything is done today. And then I'll also post it on YouTube. Now I'm going to take, we're going to use the gingham. This is the berry burst. This is the color that came back. It's three and three fourths by five and one eighth. And what I did was we're going to, we're going to be doing our stamping on the deckled mat. And I just took it and then I just measured around it. And that's how I came up with this measurement, three and three fourths by, by one eighth. So that's going to be that piece. And uh, let's see, once we have um, some stamping to do, we're going to stamp our sentiment on that. And we could use a piece of gray. I'm not sure if we will, though. We'll maybe leave that off. 
Okay, let's do our stamping. Bring this in. We're going to bring in our little mat again so we can do that. Okay, it's going to be a horizontal card. We're going to bring our, make our band-aids go sideways like this. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start one right there off the paper. I'm going to put, put the next one, better stand up so I can see this. This is harder to do when I have the camera so far away from me. I'm going to put this one next to it. A piece of hair right there. And the next one is going to go right there. And then this one is going to go off the edge like that. I'm going to leave those plain. That's all the thing we that's all we need for the thing for the for that. And now we're going to do our thank you in berry burst. And then we're going to do our coloring with um, our blends. So we're going to do this. Um, what are those from? I can't remember. Some of you know. You can put it in there and tell me what it is. Um, okay, here we go with the thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Perfect. And well, I mean, pretty, pretty. I'm glad. I'm, I don't mean to be bragging. I'm just saying it went. It went well. It's not. It's not crooked or anything like that. And uh, okay, get that a clean on my little chamois. I've got a little chamois here. I always, I mean, not always. I have a big chamois, and then I, they come twice this size, and then I put them in. I cut these up sometimes for class, and I keep one on my desk here. Okay, uh, let's see. Once that that is it. So I probably should find an inside sentiment, but I, actually, I like to write on the insides usually. So. Okay, we're going to do our coloring next. It will just take about 30 seconds. I'm gonna take my, this is my light berry burst. And there we go. So did you all have a good weekend? It was beautiful here. Oh my goodness, the snow is so pretty. We got about, well, I don't know, my husband thinks about 10 inches, but he measured on the picnic table, and that's what it was, 10 inches. So, and finally, after a couple days of snow during the day and night, it stopped, and the roads are better now, but oh my goodness, uh, it was, they were terrible yet on Saturday morning. Okay, now we can put this together. So, it's a little, it's not really too early for snow here in Montana. We usually get a hard freeze in, in sometime in September, but we did not this year. So my flowers just stayed beautiful until last Wednesday. And then it snowed that night and now everything is gone. So we're going to add a piece of, uh, where is my, uh, we're going to add a piece of berry burst label we're gonna this is a new brand new punch we have called modern oval and it's really neat um it's got a so i'm going to use that one and we're going to use so i punched it out already and we're going to put that right here we're going to put put that right there Get that out of my way. And then I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. I don't know what happened to my my, my dimensionals. I have, so I don't know, they're go totally gone. I think I'll just use this one. I must have, uh, I don't know, I must have done something with them. My regular dimensionals that I keep in my little case next to me are not here, but I have more over on the other side of the room. There we go. And now that is all done. And now we're going to put it on our gatefold. So here we go like this. Now we could have put the gray between. This is, it's too small. We could have done it like that. I was thinking it could go underneath the white, but you know what? I don't think it really needs it. So we're, we're not gonna do that. Oh, that's crooked. Let's see once here if we can lift this oval up. I think that's what's, um, 
Maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put this, uh, and then make sure it's all straight first. There we go. That was my, just my regular seal. Okay, and then we have, we're gonna make sure we have a nice even border. There we go. Okay, now let's put this on so we have it nice and straight. Does that look straight to you? Yeah, that looks good, I think. And there we go, there's our second card. So we need to put our embellishments on it though. And you know, they're berry burst. There, there is one that's berry burst, but I didn't like it as well. I mean, I liked it okay, but I'm gonna use the um, in color dots. These are, I've used a lot of them. They are, the, they've been on back order. They came back, they're on low inventory. Now this is Moody Mauve, but I think it's pretty good for for this. So we're going to use that and we're gonna put, they come in small, medium, and large. We're gonna put a medium one right there, another medium right there. And I think we're gonna put a big one these big ones are big. I think we'll put it down here in that corner. And there we have our card. Another fast and easy gatefold. And see, that's all covered up. That's nice, I think. So let's see once. Here are the other ones that I made. Here was the one with just a little bit of gingham, the small gingham. That's the big gingham. Here's one that I made that had stamping all over it. I'm going to have to figure out something to just a piece of uh, a label to cover that up. And then the original one that I did last summer was this one. So anyway, those are the cards. Okay, let's go on to some gingerbread. Let me pack up some things. We're going to be using this set called Sending Cheer. It's on the mini, in the mini catalog, page 32. And it is fun. The gingerbread man is adorable. Um, I'm gonna show you what I made. I made a couple um, little boxes. These little boxes are in the catalog, in the mini catalog too. They have, they're really nice. They have adhesive on them. I don't know what page they're on, but you, they're, they're very nice. This set has stamps and dies. And here's the stocking here. That's a lot of, you know, paper piecing. So you die cut and then you paper piece. This paper is the Santa, the, the vintage Santa paper is where that's from. But those boxes are nice. They would hold little treats. So let's see once here is our, here's our stamp and our dies. Really nice dies. They're meant to be used as tags. So let's see once here. We're gonna, we have some, this is the card. It's a photopolymer set. So we're gonna be using our little piercing mat. This is the easy card that I made. Um, just as simple as can be. Sending cheer. These little red hearts, I use those from the Give It A Whirl, but we have hearts in the, we have these bitty, bitty, tiny baby hearts that are in this set and I did die cut those and maybe we can use those today. So I have an envelope that I already covered and some pieces. So this card, and on this one we are going to be using the disc. The, these little uh, iridescent adhesive back discs are, um, they're in the mini catalog, they're really nice. They have white, Sort of a, maybe that's a berry burst, I think. I don't know. And the blue, balmy blue. And then this is the true red, the real red. So that's what we're using today for, for gems on this. And we're going to start with a bait. This is going to be another one of those long cards. This one is going to be four inches, four and a quarter by 11 inches scored. Again, two and three fourths, turn it. So I, what I do is I score first two and three fourths, turn it around, two and three fourths, close it up, give it a good bone fold, like that, and then I'm gonna move all this other stuff away. 
and we'll make our card. So you've got an envelope right there. Okay, we have some, this is the pecan pie gingham. I used the small side that checked. Uh, it's two and a half by four inches. I cut two of these. So they're gonna go like that, or they could go like that. Maybe we'll do the opposite this time. And I hope I don't forget to use this ribbon. So we're gonna do our card first, and then we'll do our stamping. So we're going to we're gonna put our adhesive on there on these two. There we go. And oh, I like this, right? Yes. So we're gonna put this on like that. And this one on this color is just perfect for gingerbread, I think. So two and a half by four inches. And now we can put our red circle on. And this is a red, this is the largest stitch circle that we have in our nested dies. And I'm gonna just put it's only gonna go on the top. So I'm gonna put it on like that. I can hear the snow falling off the roof. I am actually going to put this piece right here. So right now I'm going to put it there. This is what I do for ribbon. I never ever put ribbon, put my adhesive on the ribbon. I put it on the card. So like that. And this comes in a two pack with red and crumb cake, but I think it works perfectly there. We'll, we're gonna use that and our, we're gonna get our little snips. Like that, just like that, there we go. And I just love, do any of you make gingerbread cookies or gingerbread cake or anything like that? Or gingerbread houses, oh my word. Um, we, uh, I do not, do not, have not. I've, I've done it once or twice um, with our grandkids when they were really little and it was so messy, I could not handle it. We used to, when we lived in Missouri, we lived on a farm and our manager and his family were expert gingerbread house makers. And every year they would do these, these fancy gingerbread um, creations that, to look like things that were, that, you know, it could be a, a farm scene or it could be our farmhouse, anything. Anyway, he... His his wife and children always made these gorgeous that would last for a week. We didn't we didn't eat them or anything like that. But my husband loves gingerbread more than anything. This is what the gingerbread. This is pecan pie. And there, isn't that cute? Just like that. And we're gonna put that. We're gonna put this. Um, where's the uh, the little the little piece of. Uh, Sending cheer, where do I have that in my envelope? Where is my envelope? Let's see once here. Maybe it's there. Oh, no, it's not. And let's see if it's in here. No, it is not in there either. May have to jump up and get one. Um, I, I know exactly where they are. So you just hold tight. We're gonna put some eyes on him. this one any any tag I had I thought I had that out for you to see but this one should work I think we'll just use that instead um, okay and that's going to be stamped with real red first I think I'll put the eyes in for him close up the pecan pie and let's see once where did I put the black where it was right here. We used it just a few minutes ago. Where would it be? There it is, on the opposite place of where I normally put it. This is Black Memento, and there are some cute little eyes right here. 
There we go, and he is all done. And then we're going to stamp on here. It's going to say, my other one said sending cheer. This one I think we're gonna do no peeking. We're gonna do no peeking like that right there. And we're gonna bring the crumb, the pecan pie back. This is a nice color. Some of you probably have soft suede. That retired, but it's very similar to this. So it's a good color to use, I think, for anything that soft suede or pecan pie. And I love the, the copper clay too. That's another really good one that's brand new. Okay, so we can stamp these, these um hearts in red. There is a stamp, and there's a stamp that looks like this. But I really like it white, actually. This is what the, uh, it's probably the hospital calling or something, giving me a time for tomorrow. That's what the red hearts look like. I will have to get back with them. So anyway, we can fill that in with that, or we can leave them plain, or we can put them, we can put little tiny hearts on top like this. They are so tiny though, I can barely handle them. Well, we could try it. We could try that. We, we will. This is a. Uh, this is the. Uh, these are all in that die set, and they are they are so tiny. Let me see if I can find the die. Do you see this? Uh, do you see these right here? These little hearts. They're all hooked together, and that's what those are. It's a nice set. They're meant to be tags, um, but it's. I'm going to show you what I do, and it's super easy. Um, maybe I'll. So, when I let's, uh, we're going to just with the magic of TV. It is already die cut, so I don't have to do that on camera. And then this is the tag. So sometimes I leave the tag, but this one I'm just going to round it off. It's very simple, just like that. There is our gingerbread man. These make some really nice tags too, I think. Okay, let's see once here. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit, we'll just use those hearts because we can. I wanna, I'm gonna put a, a touch of glue right there. The Tombow. Get my take your pick tool. And I'm gonna bring these little things right like that. This little putty end on the top of, on the end of my take your pick tool, it works so well to pick up gems. That one's a little crooked. There we go, but isn't that cute? And then we have our, we can uh, pop him up on our red circle. So we can do that. We're going to do that with our dimensionals that are like this, that are cut. So I'm gonna take a couple of these that are, already cut into shapes. And there we have our gingerbread boy. We're gonna do no peeking right there. And I think I can, um, I think we're going to do him this flat, actually, because I don't have my regular dimensionals here. I don't know where they are. Across the room, probably. So we're going to keep that flat like that. And um, we're going to put some hearts up here. I'm going to get my glue out again, and I'm going to put one heart here, another one right there. And... These are a little bit bigger, so they're they're like that. Oop, glue is sticking out a little bit. Oop. I do not like touching the glue with my hands. As you probably have noticed, <laughs> it really bugs me. So we're there, that'll be drying clear, so that'll be just fine. No problem with that. And now we need to put our gems on. So we're gonna get some gems out. 
And these are the, the little disc. They're perfect, I think, for this. And we're going to put one right there. I wish they did a whole package of the red gems like this. And then I'm going to put two more, one up here, oops, and that, and the other one right there. And there our card is finished. Let me see once, and here is our other one. Which do you like better? Do you like the small gingham or the large gingham? Which is your favorite on this? Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. Karen said cute cards. Oh, I know. Gingerbread is so fun. Yeah, thank you very much. And I always appreciate you uh, commenting, but and I appreciate thumbs up, comment, share. Share is really so caring, I think. So I really, that's how I grow my business, and I appreciate that. Okay, there we have that card. That's our number three. So number four. is this one, Sending Cheer. And this is a present that's in that kit. I wish I had used the uh, Pretty Peacock, no, the Pretty, the yeah, the Pretty Peacock. That would have been really pretty, I think, with this. So the Pretty Peacock would, have, but I didn't. I didn't think, I didn't even realize that I hadn't used. Anyway, I'm using Lemon Lime. Lemon Lime Twist, that's a new color. I'm gonna fold up our, our base, again, it's five and a half by eight and a half. Let me see, let's see, let's see if I have something and then I have an inside. We're gonna try to do this as quickly as we can. So we're gonna put this in the inside. This is three and three fourths by five. Are any of you expert gingerbread makers Cookies, that gingerbread is my, my husband does not like sweets. I love chocolate chip cookies, that's my favorite, but um, my husband, lo he loves gingerbread. I, I can I can walk away from gingerbread, but I do, I do make gingerbread for his birthday usually in March. So we're gonna use some of this gingham. These are two inches by five and three eighths. That's gonna be a little skinny border. So I think this time we're gonna use the small gingham because I did the big on the other one. And if you look, if you're on YouTube, all of the directions will be under the more at the bottom. So you can find those later. It takes me a little bit of time to get, get everything uploaded to YouTube. Not, it takes me about 10 or 15 minutes to get everything loaded to Facebook. So there we have that. And Let's see, we've got a piece of a tag. This is just from our stitch tags. I love these. They're just great. And um, they're, they come in different sizes. We're going to stamp sending cheer or something or whatever. Maybe we'll do, uh, I don't know. Let's see what else we have. <clears throat> sending cheer. There's our red ink. We can do open me. We'll do open me like that, and we can do no peeking. We're only gonna use one of those, but I, I just want to show you that. And let's see, on our inside, so that's all the stamping for the outside, but on the inside, we're gonna do a, a present. So we're gonna use where, we're gonna use lemon. We are going to use uh, lemon lime. Where is my lemon lime? It's back here behind me on my I have my stamping up ink rack right there. And we're gonna do our little present. This is sort of a fun one. We're gonna move this out of way so I don't get that in, in the, uh, <clears throat> gonna ink that up really well, just like that. And it leaves a space for my real red bow. So we're gonna do that. I've been cleaning up my craft room. I've had to actually re to move things a little bit because the occupational therapist who was here last week looking at the house and things, she's, she's you can't bend, lift, or twist. No BLTs. 
is what it's called. And uh, so I had to move some of my craft things that were down low to um, a, a different drawer in the cabinets. So, okay, there's the inside. Isn't that pretty? It's a little bit off, but not bad. So we're gonna do our, our present next. We're gonna put that together. I think we'll use Open Me. And let's see once, where is that? You can see. Um, well, maybe we won't. Maybe we, we will not. I thought I had that someplace. Where did I put it? I don't know. Don't know where it is. I die cut it and I had it all ready for you, but I do not. I can't find it. Well, we're just gonna we're gonna pivot and we're gonna just stamp instead, just like I did on before. So we're gonna stamp our lemon lime. I had this all die cut like that, and I had one ready for today, and it's probably here, but it's probably buried because that's what happens when you do a Facebook Live. Things get buried, and they're, you are in a small space right here. But this will be just fine, we can do that. There we go, it's a cute stamp. And then our red is going to be the real red. Get these things out of the way. And I, I don't know what, I guess my real red newer pads are, um, I don't know where they are. I think they're not ink. That one's good. Very good. So we can clean that because red is really, red will really stain your photopolymer stamps. So other colors do not, but any of the deep reds like blackberry and real red, cherry cobbler, all those things really will stain your cards a lot. So now we're going to put this on our mat. And it is two, I just, I just went in here like this and measured it and guessed it was two and three fourths by four and a quarter. I'm going to put this on <clears throat> and actually, I think I better put my ribbons through first. Where are those? Let's see. They are right. Um, some of them are right here. We've got the red and the silver. Everything is sort of tangled up. It's really sort of a mess in that little container of mine, but we'll make it work. Here is some silver. This comes in a silver and gold pack, and here is, oh, I love this sheer ribbon. This is one of my favorites in the mini catalog. Very sheer with a silver edge, and then we have some red. This comes with the crumb cake. So I'm just going to give these a cut and we'll do that. Okay, get the spools out of here. Actually, I usually, I usually tie it and then cut it off from the spool, but I didn't this time just because it would take a little longer. So I'm gonna have my pointed ends. I'm gonna take those and put them in here like this. Just gonna poke them in there. I'm not gonna do a half hitch or anything, just pull them through. So it looks like that. And I, I used way too much ribbon, but anyway, that's the way it goes sometimes. And now I'm gonna take my silver twine and I'm going to wrap it around. That glue, see, doesn't stick to my silicone mat. That's the beauty of that. So even though I have adhesive on there, it won't stick. So there we go with a little knot and bow there. And there we have it. So you can see it doesn't leave a mark or anything. We put it on here. We're going to put it on there like that. And I'm going to just take my paper snips. I don't want to use my ribbon scissors. for. I'm just going to trim those ends like that. And there we have a tag. Now this tag is going to go on our gatefold. So here's our, our tag. And we're going to put it on the left side right there. I think I'll use my Seal Plus. This is sort of a action card. There we go. I'm gonna put this down and get them all, um, there we go. And there's the card. I'm going to put a few um, 
We're just going to put one, actually. We're going to put one. We're going to use one of these whitish. They almost like they're holographic. We're going to put it right there by that. And there we have it. And so this is what the other one looked like. Now, my, my ribbons are a little long. I'll have to cut those. I really like the stamp version, too. I almost like it better than the, uh, the die-cut version. Great. So, which card today was your favorite? Which was your favorite? Was it the gingerbread? Or was it... Was it the thank you for everything? The stethoscope? Or was it the Band-Aid card? Which one of these was your favorite? We're going to have to get those to move down. All righty. I'm going to turn the camera, so close your eyes. There we go. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Glad you could watch this morning. Peggy is my newest uh, stamping team member, so we... We really are happy to have her. She lives in Texas. You like them all, Carla. Let's see, I, uh, Pam says she likes them all. And Louise said gingerbread. Oh, ladies, if, let's see, Stacy, thank you. Thank you so much. I will certainly need all your prayers. That's for sure. Because it will be a long recovery. I will not be doing any videos for a few weeks. I'm hoping maybe after two weeks I can do another one. I have cards already planned for that. Or some I already have partially planned. So I don't know. I have no idea how this will be. I know it's a difficult thing. Anyway, but I do want to remind you about 35% uh, 35 off or 35% more. The special is good through tomorrow night. Oh, Aline, I'm glad you're going to get that stamp set. Good. That, it's a good one. It's it's one that I didn't think was going to be that wonderful, but it really is. Anyway, so anyone can join my team, join Stamping Up. Right now, it's just a fabulous deal. It's always a good deal, but you get so much more right now. You can either choose the 64 less, $35 less than the normal 99 You get $125 worth of product. You can choose anything. Or you can choose the nine to pay $99 for the starter kit and you get $168 worth of products that you choose. So I'd love to have you. Um, I'd love to have you on my team and I can help you anytime today if you want. I will not be able to help you tomorrow. So, but you can still join until tomorrow night at 11.55. So, alrighty, thank you friends. Thank you so much. I really, truly appreciate you sharing thumbs up all the things i i will be i made some box i i have some prizes and things to send out for people who order i'm going to be doing a mystery box um special in a week or two and i have lots of cards already packaged up to include with uh, anyone who makes a purchase so um please keep shopping with me even though i'm recovering so and i'll be back hopefully in a couple of weeks so already thank you so much Bye.